welcome back to Pro Tools music production course at educator.com. Automatic delay compensation. In this lesson, we will learn a new feature introduced in Pro Tools 9 edition called automatic delay compensation or a lot of people as refers uh, ADC, its initials. We will talk about how to activate the ADC and how we can bring up and work with the ADC in mixing window. So what is automatic delay compensation? ADC compensates the delays that you get by adding plugins, hardware inserts, or complex mixer routing. Although it's milliseconds, Pro Tools still needs some time to process these various effects, sends, or inserts. Without the automatic delay compensation, your tracks may get out of alignment and no longer locked in together. Okay, uh, so basically what this is talking about, sometimes when we work with our sessions, uh, we'll bring effects. Uh, we use a bunch of plugins, especially when we bring in third-party plugins to use delay, reverb, or any kind of other effects. More effects we put in, we insert and introduce to the same track, basically. Uh, it starts getting uh, some sort of delay uh, because there is there is more processing for the specific things that your computers has to do. When this happens, basically you introduce some sort of delay to that track and it will occur with everything, but especially this is a percussive track, just like a rhythm section instrument, especially drums, percussion, bass, those kind of things. It's even like uh, stand out a little bit more. I have an example here that we're going to kind of talk about it and uh, we will learn how to activate, bring it up. Okay, for automatic delay compensation, really first thing that we really uh, need to look, um, actually the playback engine, that's where we can activate it. Under the playback engine, when you scroll down your mouse, Right here, you have a drop down menu of the delay compensation engine. When you press there, you have choices of having none. If you're working in a session and you, you're not using so many plugins and you're not getting ex like no delay at all, if that's the case, basically we could choose none. Other than if you're getting a small amount of delay, there is one uh, option here, short for 10, 23 samples per channel. There, is a, uh, there are delays maybe 10, 23 or below that you could choose. Then we have long as is actually selected here on my session, 4,095 samples per channel. And if you're running uh, Pro Tool 9, I think these would be your options pretty much, none short or long. But uh, since we're running here, the recent edition, the 10th edition of Pro Tools, we have one more option that we can see is maximum, it says. And it actually gives, uh, us, uh, gives us to work with like 16,383 samples per channel. So that's really great. Most of the time when I work, uh, I actually barely work with the uh, ADC, but larger sessions that you get into and if you really want to throw a lot of plugins or if you're uh, sending and uh, doing different kind of mixer routing those type of things you start getting this so basically the way we adjust what kind of delay is right here under the playback engine but you may think how am I supposed to know or how would I know? That's like how much delay I'm getting. You will listen to the track and you say, okay, there is something definitely it's not locked in. I hear my drums late and those kind of things. When that happens, there is a way to know. There are two simple steps to it. Let's leave this one as uh, long. And we're going to go to the options. And when I scroll down, there's a delay compensation down uh, in the bottom of this list. I click on it and at this point that should be checked. Yes, your delay compensation should be checked first of all. So at this point I want to the playback engine to choose something 
and then I turn uh, on the uh, ADC under the options. So what should I do now? So I need to go to my mixer window. So let's switch in between the screens here. Command equals. Now I am in my uh, mix window view here. So I need to go and see if I'm getting any kind of delay besides listening. I'll be playing this little loop in a second. We will go here under the view menu. Since we're on the mix window view, we can go under the mix window views and scroll down. Let's get that one again. Trackball is very sensitive sometimes, but if you see this menu under the mix window views, you'll see the delay compensation is right there. So let's turn